Good afternoon, and welcome to your afternoon edition of your morning news here on VNN. We just need to mention again that if you do not see any posts from us in the AM hours, expect the show in the mid to late afternoon instead. This just means that there was a slow morning news cycle, and we need to wait for more stories to develop. Starting the show off, following upgrade announcements from Google Bard and Amazon Alexa, OpenAI's ChatGPT is making waves of headlines with its newly upgraded features. OpenAI announced a major update to its conversational AI system, ChatGPT, that will allow it to integrate voice, image, and text. With the upgrade, users will be able to opt into voice conversations with ChatGPT through its mobile apps where they can choose from five different synthetic voices for the bot's responses. Additionally, users will now be able to share images with ChatGPT and ask it questions about objects or scenes it detects within the photos. This will surely be a leap in accessibility for millions of people around the globe. New York Governor Kathy Hochul announced that 150 additional National Guard personnel will be deployed to help handle the migrant crisis overwhelming New York City and surrounding areas. This deployment supplements the 1,900 National Guard members already providing logistical and operational support to asylum seekers across the state. National Guard members are staffing 51 hotels and two New York City humanitarian centers housing migrants. Hochul stressed the importance of helping asylum seekers secure work authorization so they can establish themselves in New York. Last week, the Biden administration granted temporary legal status to hundreds of thousands of Venezuelans in the country illegally, so they can work due to instability in their home country. The FTC sued Amazon in another antitrust lawsuit, while the Department of Justice launched the Google v. United States antitrust lawsuit trial. The FTC lawsuit against Amazon and ongoing DOJ case against Google show growing efforts by regulators globally to curb dominance by big tech giants and ensure open competition. This has been your morning, um, afternoon news stories here on Volt News Network. I'm Pepper Pierce. Tune in tonight for more stories and I'll see you tomorrow.